So there's something about the dwelling place that's in heaven and creating on earth that specific pattern according to what God has told us to do. All right. And so he says to build this according to the pattern. Let's take a look at the word for pattern here in the Hebrew. This is the word tabneth in Hebrew. And this is the word here in the book of Exodus chapter 25 uh, verse 9 where it says, God says to Moses, that is the pattern of the tabernacle and the pattern of all its furnishings, the tabneth just so you shall make it. Now, we have, uh, I'm not going to go too deep into this specific word because I want to get into the root word is where I really want to get to because there's something very amazing about this. All right. So this word begins and ends with the Tav. The first letter and the last letter, as you can see there, it's the letter Tav. The Tav is the last letter of the Hebrew alphabet and the Tav has everything to do with the finished work. The finished work. Now, you want me to blow your mind. Now, some of you might have been watching some of our videos. How many of you remember what the original pictograph of this letter Tav is? You can see it. Here it is over here. And then, of course, here it is here. The finished work, the original pictograph of that letter Tav, was a picture of a cross. Isn't that amazing? You see it in the Old Testament blending in with the New Testament. So contained within this word for pattern is the finished work of the cross. It begins and ends with the finished work of the cross. It, my goodness, I'm just, I'm, I'm telling you right now, it goes on and on and on. Everything connects. All right, so you have this word pattern but I want to go even deeper with this because there's a root word here for pattern and this is the word bana. So this is the root word for pattern right here, bana. And it means to build, to establish, to build something. It's a picture of building a house or building a structure. That's what bana means. It means to erect, to put up, to make strong a structure. And so God speaks here to Moses and he says, I want you to build this. I want you to, uh, to make a sanctuary or an established place that I may dwell. I may come and sit and not leave among you. And it's according to the pattern, the building, a very specific building blueprint. If I were to uh, capsulize this, basically what God is saying is, I have a blueprint for you. Just as a construction worker would have blueprints to go by, very specific instructions, God is about to give Moses the very specific instructions for his house.